everybody, welcome to Amy Lou Presents. My next guest has actually been singing since she was five years old. Please welcome Larissa Lamb. Hey Amy, good to be here. You are now a powerhouse R&B, EDM, and soul singer. <laughs> Thanks, I like that title. Can I take you with me everywhere I go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just start shout it to the streets. Speaking of that, you were actually, your nickname is the singing CFO. Yes, Tell it is. Well, you know, I actually have a business economics degree from UCLA. Go, Go Bruins! Bruins. Yeah. High five! <laughs> um, and out of college, uh, my first job was as a financial co controller of a record label, and I eventually became the CFO, the chief financial officer, um, running kind of all the business affairs. And while I was there, I ended up singing with a group called Nitro Praise um, and going on tour with them, and they were kind of a gospel, techno, and house group. And so uh, that's how I got the nickname Singing CFO. Nice. And another <laughs> compliment that someone gave you was that they have never, or he, he has never seen an Asian with that much attitude. <laughs> yeah. I was in Hawaii touring one time and um, um, one of the guys that was putting on the concert, he came up to me afterwards and he meant it as a complete compliment. Because, you know, Hawaii, there's a lot of, you know, Asian or, yeah. you know, Asian mixed population. And so um, he was just saying like, yeah, you, you've just got, you know, you're very outspoken and very, you know, like bold. And so, yeah, and I, I heard people say that the same thing about you, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, so, so we're, so we're like lot. sisters. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> we're very similar. And, you know, actually, uh, one of the biggest stereotypes of Asian Americans is that, right. you know, we're quiet, timid, Right. subservient and yeah. meek and I think it's certainly important to um, speak your opinions but also have you know strong leadership and, and strong communication skills and and you know not be afraid to have a little sass every once in a while you know yeah you know I see that you have a lot of passion to your CD it's actually <laughs> you, called Zeus. love and discovery right <laughs> and uh, tell us about this album and I know that you know it took four years it to, took to four years to complete complete um, and I know that you almost kind of walked away from music for a little bit. Tell I, us about I that almost journey. did. Um, I st when I started out, this is my fourth solo album, and so when I was setting out to make it, I called it Love and Discovery because it was the first time I, I'd really written about love songs since I had fallen in love with my husband. Because I'm normally not a sappy kind of girl, so I really hated writing like sappy love songs. Especially, I know Asians really like sappy love songs, but like I'm so like non-traditional, you know, in that regard. And so um, this was the first time that I really was like, you know what? For me, it's different to write love songs, so I'm gonna do it. And um, but then the discovery aspect—it's not just love songs, but it's kind of discovering who you are and, and maybe things that you never thought you were capable of. And so there's a lot of themes of overcoming fear, or overcoming a bad breakup, or overcoming um, certain adversities. And you know, so that's another theme of, of discovering your inner strength. You know, um, and. So through this journey, I uh, recorded, I was working, I worked with a great producer named David Longoria and um, halfway through I ended up um, losing a tooth. So I had to get a dental implant, which is why part of it took so long. And then after that, I got pregnant, and so then I had to delay my dental surgery, and then I had, to, well, and then I had the baby, and I was still in the studio, but all of that kind of, to make a long story short, you know, ended up four years later, we're at this album. But I, I hope because we also spent some extra time to re-record some songs, that it's, it's the quality is better than if we had just thrown it together in like a year, you know. So I mm -hmm. think sitting with it that long, it, it, the, the meaning is deeper, I think, too. Yeah. Wasn't there a time where you actually wanted to let go of music altogether? I did. I, I think right after I had my daughter, especially, um, I sat there and I was like, I, the other thing is like right after I gave birth, like three days later, we were in a car accident. We actually got rear ended from behind at a stoplight oh. on the way to our like pediatrician for the first time with our daughter. And um, thank God, like she, our daughter was okay. Um, I did have some back issues, um, back pain afterwards um, that needed rehab for like eight months. And then wow. for anyone who, who's given birth or have heard about giving birth, so you know, you're sore already from like giving birth. And so on top of that, I was already recovering and then I got hit and so like I was just in pain. And so I remember like sitting in bed and um, this might be a little bit too MI, but I'm like breastfeeding my daughter and like I'm sitting there and you know, at this point, like I'm not glammed up. I don't have makeup, I don't have hair, I'm like nothing. I'm, like, bleh, and I'm like 40 pounds overweight, you know, and I'm just like, I don't know if I, at one, I don't know if I'll be able to like heal completely from this and if it's going to be painful to be on stage because I'm really like energetic on stage and then, and you know, and I honestly, I'm like, I'm not done with my album, you know, I'm like sitting here with this kid next to me and like, I don't know, I mean, maybe I should just hang it up, be a housewife and mom and you know, just, that's it, but Ooh. um, 
You know, slowly but surely, I, I think I just was praying a lot about it, and, and I think people started to encourage me, you know what, you gotta finish this album. I had invested too much time, too much money in it, um, and people just started calling me to start doing shows again, and so I think that really just encouraged me to kind of, um, when I was at my deepest, you know, darkest point, I definitely credit God, my husband, and friends and family, you know, for, for getting me out of that. Yeah. yeah, and it's very inspirational to hear that, you know, you got off, got up from that low point and was able to complete this great album. Yeah, um, it is. I mean, it's 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 certainly about perseverance. I mean, that's kind of a theme that you know, and, and especially in the you know, I think in Asian culture, you know, a lot of times we're kind of taught to take the safe route or like you know, the secure route, and and that's always like, okay, well, you can get if you know how to get to B, you know, then go from A to B, you know, and and my life has been, and that's why it's love and discovery. Because the discovery part, it's like it's not A to B, it's A to B to C to D to B, you know, E, and it's yeah. like, it's a Z curved to Z, Z to X and, S and uh, yeah, exactly, and it's it's not a complete completely straight path in terms of, you know, my destination. I don't know what's always ahead of me, but I mean, that's why I think, you know, faith is important in my life and, I, and you know, I take one step at a time. 